Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script Twitter codes on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game uh, and as you'll see we have this little Twitter button on the side of our screen and when we press it, it opens up a Twitter code GUI and whenever we type in a code and we press redeem, it'll give us points. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do before we start scripting this, we have to create our Twitter code GUI. Um, and all this is going to be is a screen GUI under starter GUI with the button, a frame, and a few other elements underneath of it. If you want to pause the video and create it like I have it here, you could. Or if you want, you can go into the description and grab the model. Um, and that has all the assets shown in this video. So you get exactly what I have here. Okay, so now that you have this GUI created, we can actually get into scripting it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new local script under our Twitter codes GUI. Um, and I'm just going to name this Twitter code script, but you could name it whatever you want. Um, and all this script is going to take care of is actually submitting the code to the server uh, and also opening and closing the GUI. Um, so the first thing I want to do inside of the script is set up a few variables for our different UI elements. Um, so the first one I'm going to create is one for our redeem frame, which is this little Twitter code frame we have right here. Uh, so I'll just say local redeem frame equals script.parent.redeem frame. Uh, I want to set up a variable for our code box, which is this one right here, our little Twitter code box. So I'll say code box equals redeem frame dot code box. I'll set up a variable for our redeem button, so the button that players click to redeem the code. So redeem frame dot redeem button. Uh, and then the final variable I'd like to set up for the local script is a reference to our toggle button, which is this one right here on the side. Um, and this is just what we use to toggle the GUI, to open and close the GUI. So I'll say local toggle button equals script dot parent dot toggle button. So after we have these variables set up, what I want to do is make it so that the player can open and close our redeem frame. You know, I don't want this frame to be on their screen all the time, so that's why we have our little toggle button on the side of our screen. Um, and this is actually something that's super easy to create. All we're going to do is make it so that when the player clicks this button, we're just going to set the visibility property of this redeem frame to the opposite of what it currently is. So all that means is if this frame right here is currently visible, then we'll make it invisible. But if it's invisible, then we'll make it visible. Um, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to create a few new lines under here. Uh, and I'm going to say toggle button and I'm going to hook into the mouse button one click event of that toggle button. So whenever the button's clicked, I want to connect it to a function. Uh, whenever it's clicked, all I want to do is set the visibility of this redeem frame to the opposite of what it currently is. Um, and the way we do that, it's super easy. All we do is say redeem frame dot visible equals, and then the keyword here is not, so whatever the opposite is, the opposite of redeem frame dot visible. So that'll make it so it toggles it on and off whenever we click that button. Um, and we can actually go into the game real quick to test this out. So currently the frame is visible, and if I click it, it'll make it invisible. And if I click it again while it's invisible, it'll make it visible. So now that we have the code that'll open and close this GUI, I actually want to get onto the part where we click the redeem button and it redeems or says the code is invalid. You know, the part where we actually do some stuff with the code that they enter into this box. So what we're going to do for this, I'm going to create a new remote function under replicated storage. Um, and I'm just going to name this remote function redeem code, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and all this remote function is going to do, we're going to send some data up to the server, and then the server is going to respond something to our client. So in this case, we want to send the code up to the server, whatever code they type in this box. And then the server is going to say whether the code could be redeemed or whether it couldn't be redeemed. Um, so the way we're going to do this, I'm going to create a new server script uh, under server script service. And I'm just going to name this script Twitter codes, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and the first line I want to put inside of the script is I want to grab a reference to the data store service. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because if a player redeems a code once, I don't want them to be able to redeem it again. You know, they should only be able to use a code one time. Um, and the way we're going to save it to see if the player already redeemed a code is by using the data store service. Uh, so all I'm going to do is say local data store service equals game colon get service data store service. After this, inside of the script, what I want to do is I want to set up a table with our Twitter codes. Um, and now this part's really important. It's important that we get this right and we set it up right um, because this table right here, it's going to drive you know the rest of our code for this script. It's going to 
kind of define what our codes are and it's going to help the rest of the script know you know how many points to give players or how much money to give players or what codes are valid or invalid um, so let's just set this up real quick so i'll say local twitter codes equals um, and the format we're going to follow in here is going to be kind of like this so this is an example of what it can be like so we want to say the code name right here as our first thing so code one is going to be my code name and now i want to put an equal sign um, and then in here we're going to create an array and then inside of this array we have two things that we want to specify i want to specify the value that we want to change so in this case in this example right here we want to say points so we want to increase the points uh, but you could also say money or you could say any leader stats value that you have on that leaderboard uh, and then we want to say the value that we want to change it by so if we want to add 10 points we put 10 if we want to do 20 20 as many points or money or whatever leader stats value as much of that as you want to increase that's what you put right here so i'm going to say points because that's the name of my leader stats value uh, and then i'm just going to say 10 because i want to increase it by 10 but you could make this whatever you'd like uh, and then if we want to add another code all we do is put a comma copy that line go right underneath of it change the code name uh, and then we could say money and we could set that to 20 and then we can do this as many times as we want to make it super easy for us to add codes to the system. So now that we configured our Twitter codes and we have them all set up, I actually want to head back to our local script. Um, and what I want to do in here is I want to work on actually getting when the player clicks this redeem button uh, and then we're going to invoke this remote function to the server and do a bunch of stuff to actually check the code and increment the player's points and all that. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I want to get whenever this redeem button is clicked. So we're going to call the mouse button one click event of that redeem button. So I'll say redeem button dot mouse button one click. And I'm going to connect that up to a function. So whenever they click it, it'll run the code inside of here. Uh, and I want to set up two variables inside of here. The first variable I want to set up is a reference to the text that's inside of this little box right here. So whatever code they put in when they click redeem, that's what I want to put in our first variable. So we'll say local code equals code box dot text, whatever they put in that text box. Um, and the second variable is a little more complicated. What we want to do for the second one is we want to figure out if the code you know, if redeeming the code was actually a success. So if we invoke the server, if we invoke this remote function to the server uh, and it returns true, then the variable is going to be set to true. If it returns false, then it's going to be set to false. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because the player might put in an invalid code or a code that they already redeemed. And we want to be able to tell the player if the code is invalid or if they already redeemed it. So we're going to say local redeemed equals uh, and that's going to be equal to whatever this remote function returns so we're going to say game dot replicated storage dot redeem code colon invoke server uh, and then we want to pass in the code so we're sending this code up to the server so that our server script can handle it uh, and then what we're getting back is going to go into this variable whatever our response is from that function uh, and that might be a little bit confusing now but it's going to make sense a little bit later uh, when we actually get into coding the server script. Um, so after this, what I want to do is display different things based on whatever the response was from our server script. Um, so I want to say, you know, if the code was invalid or if the player already redeemed it, then I want to put that here. I want to tell the player that it was invalid or they already redeemed it. Uh, but if it was successful, I want to tell the player that they successfully redeemed the code. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to say if redeemed is equal to true, so if they actually redeem the code, if it was successful, then what I want to do is I want to set the code box dot text to nothing. So it's going to show the placeholder text. We're going to get rid of whatever text they typed in here. Uh, I want to set the placeholder text of the code box. So code box dot placeholder text. I want to set that to redeemed code to tell them that they redeemed the code. Uh, and then I just want to wait one second and then I want to set the placeholder text of this code box back to what it was before which is Twitter code here so that if they want to enter another code they can so we'll say Twitter code here uh, so that's if the code is valid if they successfully redeem the code it'll show that in the box uh, otherwise what we want to do is we want to say if they weren't able to redeem the code if it was invalid or if they already redeemed it I'm just going to copy from line 15 to line 18. We want to tell the player that the code was invalid and that they didn't get any reward for redeeming it. So we'll say invalid code rather than redeem code. 
uh, and then we're just going to set the text just like we did up there. We're going to set the text back to Twitter code here. Um, and that's actually all we have to do for this local script. Local script's completely done. Now we can head back to the server script and actually work on the part that will redeem the code. So inside of the server script, the first thing that I want to do is actually get when this redeem code remote function is invoked to the server. Um, so whenever the player presses that submit button and we run the code in our local script to invoke this to the server, we actually want to catch that inside of this Twitter code script right here. Um, so all I'm going to do is say game.replicated storage dot redeem code uh, and I'm going to say dot on server invoke and I want to set that equal to a function so whenever it's invoked we want to run this code right here um, and inside of here I want to grab the player so that whatever player you know press submit and is trying to submit a code or redeem a code uh, and I also want to grab the code that they submitted which would be whatever this text is right here uh, but we passed all that up to the server in our local script so all we have to do here is actually handle it uh, and run the code that'll give them the points or you know check the code and all that kind of stuff. Um, so in here the first thing I'd like to do is set up a variable for our code store um, and the way this script is going to work is we're going to have a different data store for each code. So for example we'll have a data store for code 1, we'll have a data store for code 2. Um, but don't worry it's not like we have to set up a bunch of variables for it. We're actually going to do some string concatenation to concatenate the code to you know, a, a base value, so it'll make it super easy for us to create data stores for each of these different codes. So all we're gonna do, I'm gonna say local Twitter code store, so the store for whatever Twitter code they passed in is equal to data store service, and we wanna get a data store, uh, and the data store I wanna get is Twitter codes store, and then I wanna get the store for whatever code they passed in. So if I'm just gonna concatenate that with the code, so for example, if they put in code one, this would be equal to Twitter code store code one. That would be the data store that we're getting. Um, so we're gonna have a different data store set up for every single code that we have. Uh, after this, I wanna see if the player actually redeemed the code. So we're gonna use this data store and we're gonna see if they already redeemed it. So we'll say local player redeemed code, and um, this is gonna be equal to true or false based on the response. Um, we're just gonna say equals Twitter code store, colon get async, and then player dot user ID. So if they already redeemed the code, this will be set to true, but if they didn't redeem the code, this will be set to false. So at this point in the script, we pretty much have everything set up. All we have to do now is check to see if the players redeem the code and if the code exists, uh, or if they haven't redeemed the code, or if it doesn't exist, that type of thing. Um, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create an if statement. So I'm gonna say if Twitter codes, code. So if the code currently exists, if the code that they submitted is in this table right here, if we created the code, and not, that not is important, and we're gonna say player redeemed code. So if the player didn't redeem the code already, so they're good to redeem it, then what I wanna do in here is I wanna redeem the code because they actually haven't redeemed it and the code exists, so we're good to give them the points or the money or whatever reward we wanna give them. Uh, otherwise, what I wanna do in here, so if that hasn't happened, I want to error out and tell the player that they can't redeem the code. Uh, and this is actually really easy to do after here. All I want to do is I want to get the leaderboard value name. So for this one, it would be points. For this one, it would be money. So we're going to do this for each code. So I'm going to say local leaderboard value name. And I want to set that equal to our Twitter codes and then the code. So whatever code they submitted, so code one or code two. Uh, and then in there, I want to get the first index of that array. So in this case, it would be points for the first one if they said code one, but it would be money if they said code two. Uh, and then the second variable I want to set up is the amount to give player. So whatever leader stats value it is, however much of that we want to give to the player, that's what this is going to be equal to. So amount to give player equals Twitter codes code two. So whatever the amount is, 10 or 20. Uh, and then finally, I actually want to use this value name right here to get the value, the leader stats value underneath of the player. So we're going to say leaderboard value equals player dot leader stats. And then we're going to pass in leaderboard value name. So whatever that is, let's say it was, you know, points, it would say player dot leader stats dot points. But if it was money, it would be player dot leader stats dot money. Um, and just so you guys know, I don't actually have anything in here, 
you know, with this script that's going to create these leader stats values, you have to create those on your own. I have a video to create a point system and a video to create a currency system if you want to watch those. Um, but you have to have separate scripts that are actually going to make those leader stats values. But I expect a lot of you guys will already have those in there for your cafes or hotels or whatever type of game you're trying to make. Um, after this, what I want to do is I want to increment that leaderboard value. So if it was points, we'd increment that by 10. If it was money, we'd increment it by 20. So we'll say leaderboard value dot value equals leaderboard value dot value plus the amount to give player. So we're just going to add that on to whatever they currently have. Uh, and then after this, we only have two more lines to go in this script. I want to set the value in the data store for this code. I want to tell the data store that the player already redeemed the code since we just redeemed it. So we'll say Twitter code store colon set async. We're going to set the value for this player, player.user ID, and we're going to set it to true because they've already redeemed the code. Uh, I'm going to return true after this to tell the client that they successfully redeemed the code. And then I'm going to create a new line after line 34 and I'm just going to return false because in here is where we error out and we want to tell the client that we errored out um, and that we're not able to redeem the code. Okay, so that's actually all we have to do for the script. We're all finished for today. Uh, if we go into the game, uh, as you'll see, we can open and close our GUI by pressing our little Twitter button on the side. Uh, we can type in a valid Twitter code and press redeem and it'll give us points like this and it'll say redeemed. Uh, if we type in that code again, because it's using data stores, it'll say invalid code because we already redeemed it. Uh, and if we type in an invalid code, something that never existed in the system, and we press redeem, it'll say invalid code. Uh, and that's it. You now have a fully functioning Twitter code system. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the paste in the link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.